Hi. So today we are going to look at um, how to do real-time light fab using Composure. The basic compositing in Composure, um, you have your CG element and you have your um, heat media on top of it and combined together in a final um, composite. So here I have a simple scene. Um, this is uh, the original media and we have a key um, media with, with the alpha ch uh, channel there and the final uh, composite. Here I'm using my 3D keyer. You can find um, the project in my previous um, video, but you can also use um, any com uh, composure material as long as it provides an alpha channel. So um, how to do light tap in this scene? So next, we want to do light tap. This is the general uh, workflow. Uh, so let's download the materials needed uh, here in my GitHub. You just go here and download the zip. If you open the downloaded zip, you'll see all the material needed. You will, you're, you're going to need to right click here, show in Explorer, and just create a folder called light wrap. and drag it over. You'll find them here. Do, don't drag it directly to Unhail because that will cause um, uh, issues, although it's a U asset. So next, we want to add this pre-blur um, layer. So click on the, your final comp, add layer element, Pre blur and then put your CG background underneath it. In the pre blur layer, add the transform pass and use the pre blur material. Select the background and then adjust the radius. Select the background and then adjust the blur settings. Okay, that looks that looks good. Next we want to add the reverse alpha multiplied by the background. So let's add the light app compositing layer, drag the pre blur underneath it, and also drag your key media underneath that as well. Add the first transform pass, call this a first alpha. Drag the background reverse multiply material into the post process material. Select your pre blur as the CG background and select your keyer as a key media. As you see here, it will multiply um, the reverse um, alpha with the blur. The next step is um, finding the edges. So you're going to add your next transform pass. Call, you can call this whatever you want. So you, I'm just going to call it edge work. 
and drag this material edge work soft edge select your kit media and also um, you can put pre-pass which we'll call the previous transform pass as you see here we already got uh, some results to it you can adjust things like the curve um, the blend method some blurring properties and also whether how how aggressive you want to suppress um, the key light you can turn this on and off as you see here if I move the sun, it will light this edge accordingly. So next, we want to combine this edge with the original media that we, we, we have previously keyed. So we're gonna add the third transform pass. Drag this material called light wrap. Bring your keyed media and also pre-pass as the light wrap. Next, we want to do the final composite. This is a simple material, so I don't have a material included for you. That's basically just an overnote, the same with how you do basic uh, compositing in Composer. So in that final comp, you just select your key plate as the output of your light wrap and your CG background as the original CG background before the pay blur. You can also adjust the strength of that light wrap. Okay, I hope this helps. In this PDF, you're going to see all the um, different options. And quick thanks to Johan Folk for the general light trap algorithm, uh, Hein Brooks um, blog from Epic, and also Jake Whip um, in YouTube to uh, for the procedural light trap uh, workflow. Thank you.